In this video, let us solve problems based on construction of a histogram when midpoints of class intervals are given. So here is the question. Construct a histogram from the following distribution of total marks obtained by 65 students of 9 class in the final examination. Now the given data here is marks that is in the form of midpoints. Usually we have data of class intervals like 150 to 160, 160 to 170 and so on. But then here the marks is given in the form of midpoints that is 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. The number of students is 8, 10, 25, 12, 7, 3. So as we have discussed in the previous video, the steps to construct a histogram when midpoints of the class intervals are given. Let us follow the same in this video. So now, uh, the first step here is the ascertainment of lower and the upper class limits by using the midpoint. Now, since the difference between the second and the first midpoint, that is 160 and 150, the difference between them is 10, the H equals 10 because that is what is H, the difference between the second and the first midpoint. So therefore, we get H equals 160 minus 150, which is equal to 10. The second step is to divide it by 2. So we have h by 2 as 10 by 2 which is equal to 5. Now so the lower and the upper class limits of the first class are the first class here the lower limit would be to subtract 5 from 150 and the upper class limit would be to add 5 to 150. If you remember that is what we discussed in the previous video. So therefore now this is going to change like this. We're going to have marks in the form of the class intervals, not in the form of midpoints. The first class interval is going to be 145 to 155 because what we have to do here is subtract 5 from 150, that is 150 minus 5, which is 145. This is going to give us the lower class limit, and 150 plus 5 is going to give us 155, which is the upper class limit. So similarly we need to find the lower class limit and the upper class limit for all the other midpoints given here. So we'll obviously have in the place of 160, 155 to 165 because subtracting 5 from 160 is going to give us 155 and adding 5 to 160 is going to give us 165. So 170 is going to become 165 to 175 and subtracting 5 from 180 we are going to get 175 and adding 5 to 180 is going to give us 185 and this one is going to become 185 to 195 and this one is going to become 195 to 205 and the number of students that is the frequency is given as 8, 10, 25, 12, 7, and 3, which doesn't change at all. There's no reason for that to change. So here we have the new data. This is the ideal data that is required to construct histogram. So we've got that. So now let us construct the histogram in the usual way. The x-axis is going to have the marks. I'm not going to explain too much of the basics in this because we've already done this, constructing xy plane and then naming that as the x-axis being marks and the y-axis being number of students. It's all done in the previous videos. So let us now mark the values. The x-axis it starts from 145. So this is the mark that we have to show. So you have 145, 155, 165, 175, 185, 195 and 205. The number of students the maximum number of students is 25. So let me write it in terms of 4. That is 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So 25 is going to be a little higher than the 24. So now we just have to draw the histogram as usual. All the major step to be followed in this video was to convert the midpoints into these kind of class intervals. I hope you understood that. If you understood that, then 
the purpose of you looking into this video is pretty much done because we've already done the construction of histograms in a lot of previous videos. So anyways, the first histogram is 145 to 155, which has got a frequency of 8. So here it is. First histogram is here. Second one, 155 to 165 is 10. So that is going to come somewhere in the middle like this. So here it is. The third one is 165 to 175, which is the which is the tallest or the most, that is 25. So you just have to keep on pulling it up till you reach 24, a little higher than 24, which is going to give us 25. So you definitely have to use a graph sheet and more precision because this is more of an approximation and more just to show you how to go about doing these. The fourth one, 175 to 185, it's got a frequency of 12. So here it is. And 185 to 195 is 7, which is just below 8. And 195 to 205 is 3, the lowest, that is just below 4. So here we are. So this is it. I just have to name it X here. So this is how we construct a histogram when midpoints of class intervals are given.